founder and uh, managing director of the financing agency for social entrepreneurship, which we uh, founded in, uh, three years ago in, in Germany together with Ashoka Germany to support uh, social enterprises in raising hybrid growth capital. So we basically support uh, social enterprising in getting the funds that are necessary to scale their proven activities uh, to, to a larger scale. Why is it necessary? Um, together with uh, Ashoka, we see uh, two major challenges for social enterprises. One is that social enterprises are often stuck in the middle between a for-profit and a non-profit mindset. So usually on the one hand side, people are keen to fully lose their money with uh, minus 100%, so grant money. Um, and on the other side, there are people looking for market rate uh, returns and investment uh, capital. So uh, looking for high returns um, and the challenge is that social um, enterprises usually operate in between. So they usually have hybrid models, so they combine for-profit and non-profit elements and then build on these two entities, they, they build a business model. And that's a challenge that they just don't fit into the classical funding schemes. So this is point one. And point two is that we see that there uh, seems to be an early stage financing gap. And that is exactly where we come in with uh, the with financing agency for social entrepreneurship to support uh, these social enterprises in, in raising growth capital. And it's really a support over the whole process of um, financing these uh, social enterprises. So reviewing the business model, um, what is the, the, the really the financing needs? So what is what financing instrument is appropriate? Is it equity or is it uh, debt or is it grant money? So then helping the social enterprises in um, reviewing the business plan, preparing the documents for the investors, approaching investors from our network, um, which is uh, currently among, uh, above uh, 450 investors um, from um, Germany and the neighboring European countries, and then really actively building a coalition of uh, impact-oriented investors that want to support the social enterprise in scaling. And up to now, uh, we have supported more than 25 uh, social enterprises successfully, uh, so far mainly in Germany and Austria, um, to scale uh, their impact and, and raised uh, more than uh, 10 million euros. That may be in a nutshell. Well, I think it's usually always good to have uh, um, uh, qualitative and good partners um, and in your region, so, so either like Ashoka um, with the venture process so to get some non-financial support, but all, uh, also some um, financial incub or, uh, social incubators like, uh, like Nest um, or, or others uh, that are, I think, evolving in the local le uh, regions and that uh, can provide you with some, some pro bono or coaching uh, to develop your business and also your impact model. And then usually it's important to generate some initial proof of concept so that um, you can actually test in the market, do you generate the impact that you want, but also uh, generate the, the business revenues. And then I think based on that, um, you need to really work on the on your business model um, because if you imagine that there are two, let's say, a spectrum, so on the one hand side, 100% um, grant finance and 100% revenue finance, we see that almost none of Ashoka Fellows is on either side of the spectrum. It's usually they are all in between, so mixing for-profit and, and non-profit elements. And I think that's something that you need to test on and, and to work on and just get your experience. And then once it's a bit further down the road, I think you can also uh, approach actors like uh, FASA and others that might help you in, in raising uh, further growth capital. Although what we learned from the initial conversation with also Ashoka Fellows in Poland and other uh, CE countries, it's often only already, let's say, the first element that is missing. So maybe the 50 uh, to or maybe 30 to 50 thousand euros to really t start something. And then once you have a successful pilot in that arena, then you probably want, uh, want to scale it uh, up further and then maybe also take additional uh, funding on that. But is it um, like the finance model is done once for all or is it something that needs to be adjusted each, I don't know, two, three years to adapt to current situation? No, it's, it's, I think it's very specific to the, um, to the business model that you operate. So obviously there are specific tools that you can use and uh, we focus very much on, let's say, increasing the toolbox for social enterprises so that they can then use appropriate instruments to um, 
to build these um, elements. So just to give you one example, Frank Hoffmann, for example, is an uh, Ashoka fellow from Germany discovering hands. So he trains blind women to de detect breast cancer because uh, of their uh, superior at, um, uh, tactile sensors. And what they basically do, they have set up two operations. One is a non-profit entity that has developed the concept and um, does a training of blind women uh, to become uh, medical tax assigners. And then they have a for-profit entity, this coming hand service, uh, um, GmbH, and they are basically selling orientation stripes, um, which is, let's say, the revenue-based model, um, so that from uh, each and every examination, they get uh, 10 euros um, to, to run the business. And this is a 100% subsidiary of the uh, not for profit company, so the idea is that they generate profits and then also finance the non profit activities. And in this case, um, they uh, financed it grant uh, or used grant money to finance the non profit activities and they used um, uh, a repayable loan um, for the uh, for the for profit entity. And that is then uh, can be structured very flexible depending on the on the specific needs of the social enterprise because usually that you need to have some, let's say, um, ramp up period for two or three years where you need to finance, let's say, your, your costs and don't have sufficient revenues and uh, impact-oriented investors are in a position to, uh, to support that. But I think uh, two things maybe. One is really start thinking and working on your business model and your impact model, really also to write it down, to codify, to think about what it could be. And then I think the second one is really about just go out to the market and test it and have a look. Uh, whether you uh, you can really, let's say, achieve the impact generating the income that you foresee and then probably in the third step then adapt it according to the feedback of, from the market and really go for for um, uh, appropriate support if you need uh, support in, in actually writing a business plan or a financial model. I think there are experts in, in, the, in, in the ecosystem um, that can support you with that. Yeah, there's actually, I think it's really, what we think, it's, it's really about inspiring people and showing people cases that can work. So we think that it's very important for social enterprises to get to know other cases and how uh, their financing tools were used and also for investors to inspire them how they can use their money. And what I can really recommend is that we have a broad um, uh, set of case studies on our website with extensive materials, so 30 to 40 page um, uh, PowerPoint uh, documents, and I think they give a very good and exhaustive example on how this uh, financing for social entrepreneurs and Ashoka Fellows could, uh, could work like. Mm -hmm.